diesel fuel contamination in engine oil? Does diesel particulate filter regeneration cause engine oil contamination? And some of the critical numbers one of the manufacturers use to get around this problem. Now we really need to start at the beginning. 2007, the Euro 5 emissions legislation was passed, meaning all passenger vehicles, diesel, had to be fitted with a diesel particulate filter. This was really late in the design process for a lot of the manufacturers, and some manufacturers didn't release a turbo diesel model that year because of the complications that this introduced. And a lot of the manufacturers that did get it fitted had a lot of problems that they didn't realise until further down the track, which they come to rectify 2010 onwards. So the diesel particulate filter, a lot like the name suggests, is in the exhaust system of the car and tries to catch all the diesel particulates, the soot and the ash that would normally come out of the exhaust or out of the tailpipe. This is a great concept, but it obviously blocks up as it fills up with the microscopic particles of, of ash and soot, basically. Honeycomb in design, and it, like I said, it does fill up. They have a pressure sensor front and rear of the filter itself. So when the pressure difference gets great enough, the ECU knows it's starting to block up and it needs to clean that filter. Now the best way for it to clean that filter is to inject a large amount of diesel into it and get it to ignite and burn off the particulates. A couple of problems with this. So we now have an engine that's been built and designed not to run this filter and it's been added to the system. The diesel injectors used in the 2007 onwards engines are incredible. They can fire multiple times per cycle. Really good injector. So they figured out the easiest way for that to be cleaned is to fire the injector on an exhaust stroke. Not ideal. So we now have raw fuel entering the cylinder, washing past the rings, washing the oil off the bores, but managing to clean out the DPF filter. This has caused all sorts of issues with engine oil contamination, diesel fuel contamination in the engine oil, where even some of the manufacturers state that the engine oil shouldn't be tested unless you've driven at least 100 miles after a regeneration cycle. This is because they acknowledge that diesel is getting into the sump of these engines. The condemnation rate for old school people like me has always been around 4%. If you've got 4% contamination in the engine oil, it's no good, it's done. We're seeing figures of 8 to 12% of diesel contamination in the engine oil after a regeneration cycle. Obviously, this is causing a lot of problems when we can't anticipate how much wear it's causing if one or multiple cylinders are being fired on the exhaust stroke to clean the DPF and what effect this is having but we are seeing the damage and the degradation to the engine oil. Now, the critical numbers, here we go. 268 degrees Fahrenheit. 35 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. And 200 degrees Fahrenheit. We know diesel flash point or vapor point generally around 268 degrees Fahrenheit. We also know that the engine oil will run 35 to 75 degrees hotter than the thermostat temperature. So, a few of the manufacturers now run 200 degree Fahrenheit thermostat temperatures, knowing that when the engine's under load, we will now reach an engine oil temperature of around about 275 degrees or 135 degrees C. And this has caused another issue a lot of people are concerned about the high engine oil temperatures in turbo diesels. And you now know it's there for a very good reason. So if we run a lower temperature than that, every regeneration cycle, the contamination in the engine oil will keep going up and up and up until we either have a failure or we do an oil change. But if we can run at the 275 degrees, the diesel fuel will vapor off no problems at all and we'll have little spikes 
but then it'll return to normal as the diesel evaporates effectively out of the sump of the engine. So at the end of the time, at the end of the service life, we don't have the diesel contamination that we would have had otherwise. Don't be scared of the high oil temperatures. 135 degrees C is completely fine and acceptable. And often it's engineered like this, so the diesel and the fuel contamination can be, um, can be maintained. Now, the newer DPFs, they've put in a separate injector, what sometimes are referred to as a fifth injector. So we no longer have the engine oil contamination issues as we did with the 2007 and 2010 turbo diesels. So the extra injector directly into the DPF to help with the regeneration cycle. Hope that was helpful. Hope I cleared that up. Leave a comment below, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Thanks for watching.